about actress Tatiana Maslany is out there talking and in a recent interview, apparently the, the, she and the interviewer are trying to allude to the fact that, you know, the reason that she Hulk failed is because of sexist fans, not because the show was garbage. And I could clearly and I totally that state of I said that anybody that the show was garbage. I watched all nine episodes of it, reviewed every episode. It got worse with each episode. No, 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 that's to be that's to be fair. I'm sure there are people out there who liked it. No problem with that. You like it, okay, good for you. Fine. But I am just saying myself and the vast majority of people saw it for what it actually was, which is a bunch of pretentious nonsense. So let me go through what it is was said in this in this interview that apparently Maslani was doing via Zoom from her home. We just go over what it is was actually said in this interview, and then then I will actually break down why it is she Hulk actually failed miserably. So let's get into this. All right, despite largely positive reviews. <laughs> 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 Oh, Papa, despite largely positive reviews, oh my God, my, wow, okay. Which often singled out Maslany's performance, oh God, really? Really? Her performance, okay. All right, yeah, let's, let's continue. She all arrived at a time of Marvel fatigue, woo with audiences complaining about the relentless output of superhero spin-offs from Echo to Ms. Marvel. Of course, it didn't help that those projects were female-led and that Marvel's largely male fan base are generally not the most progressive bunch. Okay, let me just stop there for a moment and, and take a part of that. Now, they saying that, you know, Marvel fatigue and, 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 and you know talk about superhero spin-offs from Echo to Ms. Marvel and that the um fra uh, uh, that they, they were female led and that Marvel's largely male fan base are generally not the most progressive but let me just say I'm a man I'm one of Marvel's male fan base and I can tell you it has nothing to do with female led um projects or anything or even women on the whole. Nobody's a problem with that. Nobody, you didn't hear any, nobody complained about Sarah Connor in um, Terminator 2. She turned it a total badass or Ripley from Alien. Nobody complained about that. If you want to go, if you want to think about some other things, um, Samantha Carter from, from Stargate SG-1. Nobody had a problem with her. You understand me? All these different characters over the years, Xena, um, Sydney from um from a uh, alias the TV series. Nobody had a problem with these characters. You understand me? Because yes, they were badass, but they were also actual women. And if you just want to say, well, okay, let's take a series that, that, that is more recent. Let's look at the um Netflix series Jessica Jones, for instance. And I will be the first to admit I did not watch Jessica Jones when it first came out. Because I knew who the character was from Marvel, but I was not all that. I don't, I don't really, I don't really had much interest in Jessica Jones in the Marvel comics. I kind of knew who she was, but I wasn't really interested. However, I did watch Daredevil. I watched Luke Cage, and I and I liked both of those. And I was, and you know, it had to find something to watch. So I said, you know what? Let me give Jessica Jones a, a try. And I watched it with my sister, and we both enjoyed it. No complaining about it because you know what? Jessica Jones was an actual person. That's what she was an actual person and an actual character. She had her flaws and everything built on and she still had things that she needed to do. You understand I me? Mean, the villain was the villain what was actually really good. The story was actually that what people were looking for. Nobody complained about that. Did you get that with She Hulk? No. What you what you got in She Hulk was basically Jessica Gao and the rest of them. Oh, they're talking about, um, you know, literally, literally putting all their problems onto the big screen. Talking about, how, oh, I'm so, 
I feel so bad being single and 30. Men are so terrible. I don't get paid. People turn up to me, where, 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 crap that nobody cared about. That's what you got. That is what you got. Let's continue on here. They got to do what? How did she handle the inevitable wave of sexist backlash? This is what she had to say. I think what's exciting, um, exciting her, I think what's fun about it is that series creator Jessica Gao built into the story that people were going to troll us. A scene in the third episode, for example, airs fictional social media comments about Maslany's character, such as, why does every superhero have to be a woman now? Sound familiar? When we started to get the same response, responses that Gao had actually baked into the writing, it felt like part of the fun. So she's come out here and basically admitted that, that, that Jessica Gao and them wrote the show for the sole purpose to piss off fans knowing that people were going to trouble. Because you know what? If they hadn't done that, nobody would care about it and it would be uninteresting and nobody would talk about it. That's it. Because Jessica Gao and her crew actually, actually, actually admitted they had no idea how to write a, a legal drama. They knew nothing about any kind of legal drama. They didn't bring on anybody to, to help them do that. No. And then, of course... Of course, there was the whole revelation about the video that, uh, that, that I actually did a video on when Jessica Gao admits she's never read She-Hulk, she never read comic books. She don't know a damn thing about it. So that basically tell them, you know what, come in and write whatever you want. So you knew from the very beginning, right, from the very beginning, you knew that this show was just going to be about attacking the fans. That's what you they actually admitted. They were, they were sitting around really read, read actually reading the comments and laughing you need to talk about this today about um you know why does every superhero have to be a woman now because you're literally turning everything into the freaking mc mcu that's what you're doing that, that is not a lot of people complaining and that is literally literally the truth people like she hulk had you done an actual she hulk series people would have loved it but that's not what you did the actual she hulk story had um jessica getting shot you understand me yes it got that anyway whatever, whatever um she hulk actually got um shot and then bruce banner had to do a blood transfusion to save her life and that is how she became she hulk okay that didn't happen in the series at all what happened they were they, they were they were in a car got into a car accident, she had to pull him free, and then two little drop of blood get into her wound, and bam, she became she -Hulk. That's it. That's it. So, with that being said, let me take a, let me take a moment to, to, to explain everything that, we're, that they're talking about here, a bunch of nonsense. Let's take, for instance, the men in, in she -Hulk, Right? The men in she -Hulk. Every man in she boils down to just three things. One, whoever she was banging. Because literally, she went through, she literally was like basically looking at that green skin the hall. She was just banging from left, right, to the whole, whatever man she could pick up. That was one. Two, an insufferable jackass. There's no other way to put it. That's exactly what it is they did. The, the men were a bunch of who were either who she was banging, an insufferable jackass. And the third one was a mama's boy in cell. The very thing that they love to accuse us of. That's how they wrote these characters. So you can you can have them said, you know what? Let's let's take this series and use use it use it to put things in a positive light and get that done. No. That's all you did. You literally turned every man in She Hulk into either somebody that she was banging, an insufferable jackass, or a mama's boy in cell. That was it. That was it. And if you think the men were bad, the women were not much better because the women turned out to be basically a bunch of jealous, petty, angry, pathetic women who had no life and just found every opportunity to either try to belittle each other or, or, or bitch and moan about how all men are, are just trash. That was it. That was the basis of the show. 
And if you want to go even deeper into it, there was no story in this show whatsoever. None. None. They tried to set up something that has turned out to be some guy who she went on a date with and just kind of brushed off because all they would do, literally all they would do in this show was either have her sitting on the swiping on Tinder to see who she's going to match up with. Some guy she went, she went, some guy she went out with didn't have a thing with he does he decides he, 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 he then he then decided to have some guy go and sleep with the steel sheet blood so he could run it could run some crappy experiments on it and then then inject himself with it that was it it made no sense whatsoever and let's not forget what they did to daredevil walk a shame nonsense people are ridiculous and, and you're all just trying to trying to blame sexist fans for what the CGI was garbage. The story was non-existent. And, 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 and like this, I don't know if you're saying that you know about um despite largely positive reviews, which often singled out Maslani's performance. Her, her, her performance was terrible. Absolutely terrible, like everything else in this show. You never knew who she was. You never cared to know who she was. You never wanted to know who she was. Nothing. You literally had no interest in this woman as a character, whether she was whether she was Jessica, whether she was She-Hulk, you just did not care. Nothing about this made anybody interested in anything, but you were all get that and say, but oh, you know, fans, all kind of nonsense and sexist fans, all kind of crap. You ruined this show. No wonder there is no season because it was garbage. I I watched and reviewed every episode that each episode got more painful to watch. That's how bad it was. You messed this up and you out here you now. When well, 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 you talk about oh, oh you know, um you, you know the, the, the inevitable wave of sexist backlash and that and that um you know the you, you know the um the, 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 the Marvel's largely male fan base are generally not the most progressive but so when why did nobody complain about Jessica Jones? Why? Why did nobody have anything to say about all the other female characters or female led series that, 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 that have been going on for years. But no, only now because you all keep pushing your own garbage in there and people are not going to stay silent about it. You want to call people sexist. No, lady. No, your show failed because it was crap. That's the bottom line. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. If you have a different opinion, I'd love to hear it. If you like the video, then hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell to be notified every time I put a new video. And I shall see you all next time. Take care.